Now, he is the most famous Bassett in the UK, and he's just celebrated his 60th birthday. Yes, he's Fred Bassett, who was created by the illustrator Alex Graham. Uh, he's now featured in more than 21,000 comic strips. Mm -hmm. Well, the artist died in 1991, and since then, his daughter has been carrying on her father's work. Until now, our reporter Lucinda Adam has the story. For 60 years, the dry humour of Fred Bassett has entertained newspaper readers here and around the world. A daily bite of Britishness from a canine point of view. And here we've got all his doodles and his thinking. Fred was created by cartoonist Alex Graham at his family home in East Sussex. Dad used to doodle on napkins and placemats and everything, wherever he was. But when Alex died in 1991, his daughter Aaron and local artist Michael Martin teamed up to keep Fred going. Fred's having a nice day out today at the BBC. Mm -hmm. He could be all scrubbed up to go to the BBC. So the last mm -hmm. frame's him going into studio? television studio, all ready to be on television. Perfect. How's that? Well done, Michael. That's brilliant. We both, you do as well, jot down ideas, phrases, expressions. I've had um, put little notebooks by the television, in my handbag, by my bed, in, in the car even. Just a, a lovely day-to-day -day look on life, just generally and gently. So, and that's what we've tried to carry on. So not political, not nasty, not naughty, it was just genteel. This weekend, fans celebrated Fred's 60th birthday, but they didn't know it also marked the end of an era. Michael and I have been doing it now for longer than my father. Um, and I went to the Daily Mail and said, right, you want to stop Fred Bassett on his 60th birthday. Daily Mail, you can't do that, can't do that, because he's so special and our readers want him. Just as the Daily Mail teased readers in 1963 before Fred's first appearance, today's strip paid homage to how it all began. And from Thursday, Aaron and Michael will put away their pencils and the paper will begin reruns of her father's original work. And how do you feel about it? I feel very emotional, very sad. It's the right time, absolutely, uh, but, but it's, a, it's a big step. It, it is sad, Aaron said, it, it is sad, but we knew it was coming and um, we've had a great run. It's been wonderful. Never thought it was going to last this long. What reaction do you think you're going to get from readers and fans? <sighs> don't tell them. <laughs> they might not know the join. Uh, don't tell them. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It, it just, I'm, I'm sure they'll understand. Um, you know, everything can't last forever, but I think Fred will. The journey of the hound that's almost human is about to come full circle to keep him going for many more dog years to come. Lucinda Adam, BBC News, Robertsbridge. End of an era. I know. And I just love the number of stories they've managed to get out over all those years mm. on a very simple premise of the dog. Simple ideas are always the best. Aren't they just?